is on 95. Star 95.5. Yeah. 
new music mix, Star 95.5. Who it is? David. David. Yeah. You're the ninth caller. Oh, my God. I've been trying forever trying to get y'all. Well, you got it, man. You got a pair of tickets to go see Little Susie tonight at the Splash Beach Club. Going to be a hot concert. Enjoy yourself. Oh, man. Thanks a lot. Star 95.5 presents our second triple play flyaway. We could send you to historic Boston, Massachusetts. You'll see Real McCoy and the Human League in concert outdoors at the beautiful Great Woods Amphitheater. When we play Runaway and Another Night by Real McCoy, followed by Tell Me When by the Human League. Tell me be the 95th caller at 550-9550 and win airfare, hotel, and tickets to this great summer concert in New England. Plus $95 in spending money. Listen longer and win a triple play flyaway to see Real McCoy and the Human League in Boston from Star 95.5. to dance presents the biggest Saturday night party anywhere. This is how it should be done. Flirts West Palm. Flirts Saturday night. Tonight, party with 2,000 of your closest friends. 2,000 people. 10,000 ways to have fun on Saturday night. Flirts explodes with the most extreme Saturday night dance party tonight. Flirts, where there's never a cover. Flirts is alive till 5. Stepping out. Flirts. Into another world. Flirts Fun Drinkery is alive till 5 every Friday and Saturday night. <laughs> Finally, a club of the Palm Beaches that parties till 5 a.m. Watch us transform every weekend to Flirts Late Night with Palm Beach's largest and longest party till 5. Check out our all new late night menu serving till 5. And there's never a cover at Flirts West Palm. Alive till 5. Flirts off of Okeechobee, one block east of Palm Beach Lakes. Listen. And listen carefully. You're looking for a new home, right? You want a lot for your money, right? Well, look no further, because you will find your home this weekend at Heatherwood in St. Lucie West. Heatherwood is a long-standing favorite of home buyers looking for true value. Now it's even better as we grand open four new models. Four incredible home styles by Regency Homes and Hanover Homes. Beautifully designed, spacious, richly featured, and chocked with extras. These single-family homes are priced from the very, very affordable 120s, and that includes standard home site. You can afford the kind of home you want, and it's all within St. Lucie West the Treasure Coast's most complete master plan community. The grand opening continues with our four new models at Heatherwood this weekend. From I-95, take exit 63C. Go east two miles, then right on Cashmere Boulevard. Turn right again on Village Drive and follow the signs to the models. Call 1-800-ST-LUCY to learn more. Heatherwood at St. Lucy West. It's everything you're looking for in a home. Star 95.5 is everywhere. It's thank you back to the gang at Florida Chrysler Plymouth Jeep Eagle. Come on out here and check out the 95 Grand Cherokees. You can lease these things for three years, only $2.99 a month today, and there's over 50 to choose from. Come check them out, the 95 Sebrings and Cirruses and the minivans. Got plenty of things for you to look at and great deals going on here today. It's the spring clearance at Florida Chrysler Plymouth Jeep Eagle in the West Palm Auto Mall. Tony Q. Fox on Star 95.5. Listen up, we're about to say the dreaded F word on the radio. House of Meats, with locations throughout the area, is celebrating its third anniversary at its 25th Street store in Fort Pierce. That's where the F word comes in. Free. That's what we mean. Free. The House of Meats store at 202 North 25th Street in Fort Pierce is celebrating three big years of providing you with the highest quality meats and grocery items at the absolute lowest prices. During our celebration, House of Meats has some outstanding free offers. Buy the five-pound box of beef patties, get another five-pound box free. House of Meats own 100% pure ground beef patties or buy one, get one free on the five-pound box. Pork neck bones, buy one, get one free while supplies last. And with a minimum $30 purchase, you'll receive a free three liter bottle of Ritz soda absolutely free. It just doesn't make sense to shop elsewhere. Not when House of Meats gives you wholesale to the public prices on the highest quality meats anywhere. Shop the third anniversary event going on now at House of Meats, Fort Pierce location at 202 North 25th Street at the corner of Orange Avenue. Food stamps accepted. Now, more of the Palm Beach's best new music mix on Star 95.5. Any 
other island is the I network. Coming to you from the Jim Davidson Theater of the Performing Arts in Pembroke Pines, Florida, Torino Pinckney Boxing Production presents Amateur Boxing at its Finest. Good evening, I'm Kim Camper. We've got some great bouts set for you this evening. We've got amateurs from all over the state of Florida that, that should present a great card for us this evening. Joining me is Dr. Harold Hackey Reitman, a great fighter in his own right. Hackey, what do you expect to see tonight? Give us some of your idea on some of the bouts. I'm really looking forward to see Hinkley Lau. We've seen him thrill this crowd with a couple of knockouts recently, and he's ranked number one in the nation. Then we have Dave uh, Stico, a tough middleweight making a comeback, and then Anthony the Animal Carnavale, the converted kickboxer you've been reading about. He's appearing tonight. We're going to see lots of action, Kim. We've seen some great action here at the Jim Davidson Theater before. Tonight should be no different. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with our first match. Fantasy meets reality, August 28th, on 5,000 sports club and restaurant TV screens. Two hours of fantasy football dream team draft tips from Prime Sports. And the dream of winning 25 grand or a Dodge Ram trip. Prime Sports Reality Check, Monday, August 28th, 9 p.m. Eastern. Call 1-800-99-THE-GAME for locations. Before you draft a dream team full of zeros, get your reality check. No matter how high the thermometer climbs or how sticky the humidity gets, nothing will be hotter this summer than the deals you'll get during Jeep Summer Days, where you can lease a Grand Cherokee Limited for just $3.99 a month. Get values over $1,300 on Cherokee Sport, including no-charge air. And get deals that are truly steamy on the legendary Jeep Wrangler. But you'd better hurry in, because deals this incredibly hot are bound to cool down fast. See your local Jeep and Eagle dealer. coming this uh, with a lot of credentials behind him. David Ostico in the blue trunks, Quinton Smith in the white trunks, uh, Smith at 160, Ostico at 168. And uh, heck, you know David Ostico very well. Sure, I work with him in the gym a lot. He, he stayed out of the gym for a few months and he'd just been back in a few weeks. He's a fine, hard-working young man, and I just love his style. When you work with him, Jim, he keeps coming and coming like a blue-collar worker, and he takes his work pail to the fight ring. Quentin Smith comes down from Winter Haven to see what he can do down here in the South Florida area, and right now, he's kind of uh, fighting a defensive fight as Ostico seems to be the aggressor early on, and uh, Quentin Smith is uh, content right now to play a little defense while he's up in the ring. And you'll find Ostico very well schooled by uh, Dave Marks, the uh, Israeli transplant, who does great mitt work with all of his fighters. And all of them are very well schooled, and they don't stop coming. Well, look at David Ostico. He leans on the fighter. He keeps him where he wants. He's got his feet firmly planted on the ground. He's able to throw some good blows. And they've hurt Quentin Smith early in the fight. Quentin Smith, I think we need to see a little more movement out of him. And Ostico just ate a strong jab, but came right back. Ostico's well, one of these guys I sense is going to be better as a 10-round main event pro who will come on and on and on as opposed to a three-round amateur fighter. Well, you can see he presses the action, giving Quentin Smith little time to extend his arm and really get much snap in his punches. That's right, and he doesn't have the flair Dave doesn't, and he doesn't have a lot of the pizzazz, but boy, he's a nightmare because he just keeps coming, and he's in great shape all the time. Smith, uh, with only three fights to his credit, he comes in with a two and one record, while David Ostico sports a record of seven and one. More experience from Ostico, and you can see a little bit of that in the way he fights. Yeah, and you'll see Ostico's one of the few amateurs who really works that body. He'll go right to Labanze, he likes to call it, and he'll get in there and work. 
Quentin Smith, a well-defined athlete. You can see that he's in good condition. Right now, maybe just a little bit uh, overmatched by the uh, uh, the quality and the style of David Ostico. But Quentin Smith looks like he's got uh, quite a bit of potential in himself. He does. And, he, you know, he's up from the Winter Haven Club. And, this, you know, it's different when you travel, when these youngsters come in the night of the fight. It's a little bit tougher. That closes out the first round as the referee gets in and uh, throws some comments towards Dave Ostico. We'll try to find out what that is and let you know in round two. In 1970, it landed on Fort Lauderdale Beach. The world-famous Parrot. We love the food. We love the drinks. We love the service. We, we love, love the, the Parrot. I come here at least three or four days a week, and the food is great. We've been to bars everywhere. The North Pole. The South Pole. Even up the Tally Pole. Shut up, Tadpole. We, we only go to the Parrot. Woo! The Parrot Lounge is located at Sunrise Boulevard in A1A, one half block off the beach. For the best in boxing instruction, professional management, weight training, and conditioning, it's Garrett's Leprechaun Gym. Located in the heart of Miami, Garrett's Leprechaun Gym has produced more amateur boxing champions than any other facility, and it's home to Olympic featherweight hopeful Wayne Chandler. Many pros also train at Leprechaun Gym, so whether you hope to be the next heavyweight champion or just need to stay in shape, call Garrett's Leprechaun Gym, 571-9258. Garrett's Leprechaun Gym, home to the champions. Quentin Smith corner trying to get himself ready for this match as he takes a, a little bit of a deficit into the second round. David Estico showing some good right hands, and I think that's given him, uh, given him a lead early on. You know, the amateurs, uh, Quentin Smith's main concern before the fight was to say hello to his mom, and now he is in the middle of a pit war in that ring. And you can see when both of them meet in the middle of the ring, exchange a lot of blows, and Quentin Smith gets his in. You can tell he wants to keep this fight heading in his direction somewhat and try to offset the moves that David Ostico's made early in the bout. David Ostico throws a big right hand again and continues to throw. You can see the left hand of Smith. It drops down and it leaves that right hand wide open for uh, David Ostico. Ostico! You know, uh, David Ostico's thrown a lot of good uppercuts and he has hooks. Um, both fighters working the body, both trying to get their shots in there, trying to get their hands down, open things up for the shot to the head. David Estico takes advantage of it and throws a right hand to the jaw. You know, and there's Jack Leonard and Quentin Smith going. Jack Leonard uh, managed Don Jordan, world welterweight champion, back in the 50s. And here he is in 1995, Jack Leonard, working the corner of this young amateur. Well, we've seen a lot of people here in the fights tonight. You get a lot of the uh, the local fighters and a lot of people from around the country that come in and like to be around the boxing scene. And, uh, we saw Rand Barkley earlier, one of the great fighters of all time. He's around here, so you do track a lot of people, a lot of fight fans and a lot of fighters alike. Sure, Louis Santana here, Razor Ruddock. Big left hand, hurts Smith and knocks his head back. Everybody likes to come out to the Torino Pinkney fights. Smith, you've got to give him credit. He's standing in there firm, not giving any ground as David Estico continues to try to be the aggressor in this one. And you can see Estico maybe a little bit stronger, able to push Smith around somewhat. A, a bit. He's got a slight edge, but I have to say I admire Quentin Smith because he's keeping his composure and uh, it's a close fight. Yep, comes up to round three and we'll have round three for you when we return. Hello, I'm Stan Rhodes with Home USA. If you're thinking about buying a home, now is the time to act, and Home USA will show you the way. Our innovative home buyer program provides the information and direction you need to make buying a home faster and easier than you ever dreamed possible. First, you receive the Home Buyer's Kit, which includes the Home Buying Experience Workbook and video. These valuable tools will guide you through each phase of the home buying and financing process using an easy to follow step-by-step -step approach. Then you'll also receive your own personalized home buyer profile that tells you how much of a home you can afford to buy. It also includes a summary of your personal credit history. And you can review everything in the privacy of your own home. The home buyer program will prepare you with everything needed to make your dream of home ownership a reality. Call now to receive the home buyer program absolutely free. It's our way of introducing you to Home USA, the National Association of Homeowners. We're there when you need us, starting right now with your decision to purchase a home. So call us. Heck, in between rounds, take a look at David, David Estico, visibly tired. He's expended a lot of energy during this fight. May give Quinn Smith the opportunity to come back. Well, you can tell Dave's just been back in the gym for a couple of weeks because uh, 
He's not in his usual fine condition. Uh, and he's starting to get himself off balance himself a little bit, and that's leaving him wide open. Quinn Smith able to take the advantage and throw a double left hook and connect right on the chin of David Ostico. Tell you what, if David Ostico doesn't have a good jaw, he's in trouble. He's eating some good leather here. He has, and Quinn Smith has to really feel somewhat uh, satisfied with what he's been able to do so far. I think so, because uh, I think Ostico's a better schooled fighter, but look at that step around Quentin Smith did. And, and it delivers a straight left hand, and it snaps uh, Ostico's head back. Ostico having a tough go of it here in this close fight, and uh, I thought he would really walk through this fellow, and there's no walking through Quentin Smith. Well, I think the problem he's facing right now is what you touched on. He's a little bit out of shape. You can see his hands are down by his side. He's breathing heavily. We saw it during the middle of the round, and that gives Smith the opportunity to come back, and as we've talked about all night long, take that chance and maybe steal a fight in the third round. I think you're right, and I think Dave uh, Ostico is benefiting from this meddlesome referee who keeps stopping this fight every 10 seconds. It's getting a bit annoying to the fans. Well, right it's there. a big advantage, and we see it again right here as he's giving him a warning for pushing, a kind of a needless warning if you've been watching the bout, but it gives Ostico a chance to catch himself uh, a little bit of breath. I'll tell you, you're right. You know, referee Bernie Soto, who's done 100 world championships, told me, a good referee, you don't even know he's in the ring. Well, that's what you've seen. You've seen time and time again the great referees. You never know they're in there until they come in and stop the fight at the right time. And there's no time to stop the fight right now. As these two still have some left in them. Although Ostico seems to have a lot less in him than Quentin Smith right now. A little bit of break. And every break that Ostico gives, if I'm Quentin Smith, I think I want to continue to put the pressure on a very tired uh, David Estico and maybe try to garner some points and close out the fight. Time's run out, closes out the third round. And I don't think that Smith really did enough in that third round to offset what David Estico was able to do in the first two. I think he ran out of gas himself. He had two tired fighters, and I think they could both use some more time in the gym and a little bit of more road work. Not taking anything away, they did a fine job. But that's what boxing is about. You have to be finely tuned. Well, I think Ostico was uh, out of shape and tired just from, like you said, being out of the gym. And I think Smith somewhat got tired in the third round from the beating that David Ostico was delivering in the first two, two rounds. I think Ostico came out very strong, threw some good heavy punches, took control of the ring, and I think that took away some of the, uh, some of the uh, breath of Quentin Smith. And you saw him tired, as you said, in the third round. Wasn't able to take advantage of what a, situa a situation that uh, could have been critical for Dave Ostico as he was having a difficult time holding his head up. He did get some good shots in that third round, but I think was, uh, uh, wasn't was near enough to uh, give Quentin Smith an opportunity to take over this bout. I think you're right. I think it's, uh, it's a close one. Quentin Smith jumping around the ring, and that kind of works on the uh, the judges sometimes, you know, try to show me not tired. Well, it works sometimes, but the judges' uh, cards are already in the ring, so there's a, you might as well <laughs> settle down now because the decision has been rendered, and it's just up to the announcer to give us that decision. We'll wait and see what that is, and um, everyone will know, as we know, as the judges have made their rulings, they've sent in their cards, and uh, it's all left up to the uh, ring announcer and get his... Uh, his reading on the uh, on the judges' cards. This one may be taking a little more a little more difficult than we thought, as the judges are taking more time than they normally do to uh, judge these three round bouts. But uh, we'll send it up to the ring announcer and get his thoughts as the fighters prepare to get themselves in position to here. And I'm sure whoever uh, wins this fight, the, the other person is going to be a, a disappointed Ladies fighter as he walks out of this ring. You are a winner out of the red. Oh. Oh. I think David Stico, as you said, in the first couple rounds was able to put enough away so that uh, he was going to be able to control the fight early on. Couldn't get a third round that was big enough for Smith to take away from David Stico. And all in all, a very good fight. Excellent. Excellent. We continue to see good fights out of the amateurs here at the uh, Jim Davidson Theater, and we'll see more as the night continues on. And uh, De Leon coming out of the Leprechaun Gym in Miami while Manuel Martinez fights out of Fort Myers. You know, the Leprechaun Gym with Pat Garretts of Garretts Construction, I can't say enough how much they do to make these type of boxing shows possible so these kids can work hard and show their wares. Well, I think these shows directly here that we have at the Jim Davidson Theater, you've got to give a lot of credit to Pat Garretts and Leprechaun Gym 
for all the support that they've given. I think without them and Torino Pitney Productions, so we wouldn't be here right now. Well, them and all the other fine spots. And I'll tell you something else. That uh, uh, these, it's good to see these kids from Fort Myers and St. Petersburg coming in and interacting with these kids from Miami and uh, Broward County and Fort Lauderdale and all about. And you know, it's a real good character experience when they hug each other after the fights. It's genuine. Well, one thing I think it does, it gives the opportunity for these local kids, whether it be from Miami or be from the Fort Myers or St. Pete area, gives them an opportunity to match up against the people across the straight, the state, because at some point in their amateur career, they're going to be meeting these people as they try to progress through in the amateur ranks. You always see the referee step in with a standing eight. They're very conscious of the safety of these kids with the headgear, with the rather heavy gloves, and uh, they'll make sure that things get stopped in a hurry. Yep, Manuel Martinez getting the standing eight count as Rick DeLeon is able to level some blows to him, and that uh, closes out round one. Get away from the rat race and bring the family out for a day in the country to Everglades Holiday Park on Griffin Road, just 20 minutes from downtown Fort Lauderdale. There's plenty of fun for everyone. Enjoy some of the finest freshwater fishing around. Watch an informative and entertaining alligator show and a wildlife animal exhibit. Treat the kids to a guided tour through Florida's exotic Everglades on Bigfoot, the world's largest airboat. Leave the traffic jams behind and come on out to Everglades Holiday Park, corner of Griffin Road and US 27. If you bought this suit anywhere but Sawgrass Mills, it's not just your clothes that got taken to the cleaners. If you bought this stereo anywhere but Sawgrass Mills, it's not just the batteries that got charged a lot. As we begin round two, Rick DeLeon takes a lead, basically on the strength of that standing eight count. Mixing it up, and uh, DeLeon uh, taking some blows, but giving some back to Manuel Martinez. Manuel Martinez comes in with a record of one and two. Rick DeLeon, as is kind of one of the nuances boxing, one of the newer ones that I've heard, doesn't want to divulge his record at this point. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's, uh, he's not sticking to his game plan, which at the Leprechaun Gym is uh, jab, move, and then step in. Well, and, as you uh, said, if Patrick Burns was here, you can bet uh, he'd be shouting something to him in the corner <laughs> because, as you can see, Rick DeLeon right now fighting with his hands down around his waist. And uh, we know coming out of the Leprechaun Gym, we've seen plenty of their fighters. Uh, they, they teach defense quite strongly at the Leprechaun Gym. Yeah, and I don't, I don't know that DeLeon is in the best of shape either. Uh, you know, he seems to have his mouth open. He's uh, backing up rather than stepping around. He's covering up. And, uh, you know, his opponent is just uh, turning it on. Well, Manuel Martinez is tomorrow, team.